All right. So I've been working on a couple of different videos and I decided to browse Marketplace when I was bored and I saw an ad for this. Uh, it looked like to be some N64 uh, cases, um, retail cases, and that actually wasn't exactly what it was. It was, a two, it was a link to a website called Gaming Relics. Now, what they do is they make replacement cases for various cartridge-based games. So it, in this case, I bought three different N64 cases for a few games that I don't have cases for, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I was born 21 years ago, and if you do the math, this system was already being overtaken by the GameCube by that point. So I had actually never opened a brand new N64 game in my life, and it's really, for some reason, hard to find uh, pictures of them online. So I don't really know how to reference it, although from my understanding, they had plastic inserts uh, in the cases that they came in. But, so, getting into the packaging, here we see that we have a little thank you card from Gaming Relics. Thank you for your purchase. But that is their card. Um, the link of the website will be in the description of this video. Now, uh, again, I want to mention that these are not legitimate cases. These are just display cases. These are not Nintendo licensed. Um, they are made pretty much to, to order, essentially. Um, and so I bought three, three different ones here. And uh, I guess it'd make more sense to show you like this. So I bought three different ones here. So I have Paper Mario uh, in 64, Banjo Kazooie, and Donkey Kong 64. Uh, all of these are games that I have played since I was four and absolutely love these games. I still have the original copies that I had uh, when I was a kid. And But I've never had cases for them. We've always thrown away the cases. Uh, a lot of these were inherited from my brothers, actually. But, uh, so let's go ahead and get into one of these. Uh, starting with my favorite game, my favorite game of all time is Paper Mario 64. Now, getting into opening the case, one, the case is very solid plastic, by the way. The print is extremely good quality. It's very vibrant colored. Um, it, I believe this is the original uh, case art uh, from the original release, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, this is a horizontal design. It's the retail design. They do sell a, a vertical copy of this where the case is more like a DVD like that. Um, but I decided to go with the retail design because I personally like the landscape art better. Plus the side art uh, just looks absolutely fantastic. And I realize I have been holding it down uh, or upside down. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and open it up. So here we have the plastic inserts, and the way this works is pretty much, let me go ahead and grab my legitimate copy of Paper Mario 64 here, and pretty much you just slide it in there, and it just kind of pops into place here. And it holds it in there, it's not gonna fall out or anything like that. Um, and the label stays really well put too, which is awesome. And they actually have space here for uh, expansion cards that go into the controller too, which is awesome. I don't think I have any on hand. Actually, I do. Anyway, so here I have the controller pack. Obviously, you probably wouldn't be able to fit the uh, the rumble pack in here, um, but it looks like you just kind of fit it in there and it won't come out. And I believe there are memory cards they can get for it too. Uh, maybe it fits a little bit. Oh, there we go. It fits a lot better that direction uh, with the label facing out. So there you go. It ain't gonna fall out or nothing. Uh, really cool design. And, pretty tall too, which I believe is the memory pack. Um, but look at that. That is actually really, really cool. Um, you can actually see, let's see here, closing it up, it actually holds like a decent amount of weight to it. It feels good, it looks good, and this is awesome. And of course, I'll go ahead and leave that in there because these are going back on the shelf. I only bought these three to test, by the way, and I am beyond pleased with it. Go ahead and get Banjo-Kazooie in there. Now, I did notice a flaw that I'll show here in just a second with this case. It's a, it's a design oversight that um, hopefully is refreshed in uh, later models of it. And uh, I can kind of show you what I mean. So putting it in here, um, so N64 cartridge games have these notches on each end. And uh, this just fitment thing has notches there. And unfortunately, the tab here 
little tabs here at the bottom where the case go on. I'll see if I can get a close up of it uh, later. Don't, they line up directly with those notches. And the problem that that shows is that when you try to put it in, you have to put like a lot of force to move it out of the way of the notch or even just slide it in like that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but it seems quite difficult to get the game in there. And I feel like if the wrong person tries to put the game in there and they don't quite know how to move that around, that they might end up breaking one of these notches. Now, I don't really want to test it because these are personal copies. Um, definitely a, a really small design flaws. A way to fix that would probably just to make them flared at the top. So keep the same fitment, like the same curve where it holds it in, but add like where the cartridge is here and then just add a little lip. That way you can just set it in there a little bit easier. Um, I don't think that would affect the way it holds in there. Um, and there's plenty of vertical room to do that with. And you can actually see there's a space here, by the way, I, I somehow missed that, a space here for the manual, which is really, really cool as well. I don't have any of the manuals. Again, these games are almost over 22 years old at this point. Um, so with, those are long gone. This is just the remnants of what's left of the collection of my brothers and sisters. Um, the price on these, oh, that's actually really cool. I didn't even notice that. On the Donkey Kong 64, they actually have the expansion pack included in the case. Uh, I wonder if that fits in there. Um, let me go get the expansion pack out. I'm going to test that really quick. All right, so moment of truth here. I'm really hoping this actually does work. Oh, no, it doesn't, I don't think. Oh, man. That's actually disappointing. I know you can't win them all, but uh, this is the original Donkey Kong 64 that came in the box, uh, RAM expansion. Now you normally probably wouldn't take this out of the console anyway. Um, it's just a shame it doesn't fit in there. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Um, but no worries, like I said, you probably won't really take this out of your console anyway. Chances are if you're moving your console around, say like a friend's house, it's, it's going to stay in the console, but um, it does fit with the memory packs and, like I said, the controller packs. All right, now back to the cases themselves. Now, these are actually really, really good display cases. They're pretty quality, and you'd be surprised how much I paid for these. They were $8, um, and, I mean, you just can't beat that. Uh, the price that you would try to pay for an original one off of eBay is crazy amount of money these days, especially for one in good condition. And usually you can't just get just the box. And if you do, it's most of the time fake. But I mean, for $8, you definitely can't beat anything else. Really good plastic design. Like I said, I really wish they would uh, revise some of these to be able to fit the, uh, the RAM expansion pack. Um, but like I said, it does fit the controller pack and the memory pack, which does make a little bit of sense. Uh, and then again, you have the insert here for the manuals too. Uh, but really cool if you don't have the original box and they're really high quality. Um, I just realized I've been recording on top of this foam the whole or this uh, bubble wrap the whole time. But anyway, really good display boxes. I mean, those designs are just really, really clean. And I can't get over how perfectly sized they are, too. I can't wait to have these on a shelf. Um, definitely excited for these. Again, if you want to buy them, they're in the description online and go to the website. Now, they don't just carry N64 games, by the way. Um, and they carry all sorts of cartridge-based games. They have, let me look here. They have uh, the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, Vertical Style, Retail Style, and Super Famicom. Um, vertical Style, Retail Style for the N64, Nintendo Handhelds, so Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advanced. Uh, Sega Genesis, Game Gear, and blank cases so you can make your own. A lot of options here for games. Really, really awesome, especially if you don't have a lot of those original cases. Really good display cases, for sure. Now, I do want to mention that total library for N64 games is 296, and they have 233 different case options. That is a really good number. Um, especially for just how many unplayed games there are in the Nintendo 64 library that most people don't even know about uh, or have heard of, that's a very impressive number. That does exclude Japanese titles, I want to mention, for the N64 at least. 
they do look like they're expanding quite a bit. Like I mentioned, they have some Super Famicom cases. They have 29 different case options for their uh, 536 Super Nintendo case options, which is an absolutely outrageous amount. They have uh, that's in the vertical style. They have 313 in the sideways retail style, which is again an insane amounts. 536 Super Nintendo games, 233 Nintendo 64 games, 176 Game Boy Color games, 223 Game Boy Advance games. Uh, Sega Genesis, it doesn't look like they actually have a number here. 348 Sega Genesis games. And for the regular Nintendo, 766 cases, all of which are $8. I wonder if the handhelds, because they're smaller, are cheaper. No, they're $8 as well. Um, but again, really, really good display cases, really good quality. I definitely recommend checking them out. Again, the links will be in the bio there uh, down below. That pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, again, I couldn't believe how happy I am. Uh, I'm really glad I found these guys. If you want to go check them out, like I said, the link will be in the description. I'm super happy with the way, with the quality of these. Obviously, they're not perfect. They're only $8. I mean, the prints are really vibrant and high quality, and they seem pretty consistent. The cuts are really well cut as well. They're not oversized or undersized by too much. So, uh, text is more than readable. It even has the service information phone number on the back as well, which is really cool. But anyway, Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please go check them out. Really good options for display cases, especially if you don't have the originals. Gaming Relics, down in the description below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I plan on doing a lot more content like this. I am forever improving my content, or at least trying to. Uh, any recommendations you have, please leave in the comment section. I will read every single comment, I promise you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.